welcome to Spirit. <coughs> Just going to give you a quick run through of the accommodation or the living areas. This is our cockpit. Um, these seats are nearly two meters long, and um, you can see when we're at anchor. Um, this is really our lounge area. This area also has the ability to have a table and it also um, we can make a day bed with it or a, a full bed. We can sleep out here if the conditions are right and uh, also we can do work on our computer and make videos and stuff. We have uh, on the floor here is the table. So it's just foam, fiberglass. It slots into the end here and, uh, and then it also goes down here and fills in the area there and becomes a bed. Uh, when we're at anchor like this, you can see we've removed the tiller. The tiller's there in a cassette. We can actually lift the tiller out of the boat or the rudder out of the boat. It's in a cassette here and it lifts up and out. Just push it, here moves. Um, we've got the autopilot rudder feedback unit and the water fill for the water is back there as well. Underneath these seats is all storage. They're divided into three compartments. We have fuel tanks at the back. There's two fiberglass gas bottles here, and then in between here is some food storage. On this side we have the battery for the outboard, the engine control, and then here we have some um, splicing tools and electrical spares, some deck spares, and then back here we have another 20 litre fuel tank for the outboard, and the outboard is uh, back here. You step down into a lower area. This is uh, <clears throat> this area is where we uh, we sit if it's really windy or if it's the weather's really bad. We're on watch. You can sit down here and you've got plenty of protection out of the wind and the rain, and it's quite nice and cosy. Underneath here as well, we've got storage. Underneath this whole compartment down low in the bilge is a water tank. Underneath this floor is more storage. We keep the parachute anchor and the drogue in 300 feet of uh, double gray rope, nylon. Uh, that's really just our emergency equipment. Now, we, um, Claudia likes to cook and um, we just felt cooking inside, it's quite a small area inside, so we thought we'd put the galley, well, part of the galley outside. So underneath the seat here is a two burner gas stove and um, Claudia cooks on that stove a lot of the time. Also she uses the electric cooker inside. And then uh, if you want to come inside. Okay so this is the inside of the boat. Here you've got uh, a bulkhead here or a little sort of ring frame. This is like our galley area here, and then forward of that area we've got the two single berths either side. <coughs> a mast compression post here, and then the centre board here forward, so the centre board and the mast compression post divide both bunks. Okay, uh, we've got our storage here for our clothes, cameras, clothes and things. And underneath the bed, there's heaps of storage as well. We keep a, um, our, our bags are under there with a few other items, but we try and keep it mainly empty. You can see forward, there's rope bags, these little netting bags. We use those for storage. There's also a fan here above the bed. There's a small hatch here. And then over here on the port side or on my right, is the emergency escape hatch. Uh, water maker, this is a pre-filter. Seacock comes in through the pre-filter, through the high pressure pump, and then there's a membrane underneath this shelf here. This is all storage. Uh, we've got bowls, plates, tea, different types of food, uh, cooking utensils. We try not to use a lot of plastic on board, so we have these paper bags. Um, saucepans, little kettle, this is our 2000 watt inverter and then back here we have our two lithium batteries. These are 160 amp hours each or a total of 320 amp hours. All our electronics are in here in this cupboard. 
solar regulators and everything else, VHF, autopilot, the whole lot. There's some um, cigarette lighter for 12 volt to charge and a couple of USBs. The same as well outside, there's two USBs and a cigarette lighter. Cloudy has got uh, all these glass containers here, again trying to not use uh, too much plastic if we can help it. And then these contain everything that we use every morning to make our juices with, nuts, um, you know, what have we got, turmeric, hemp seeds, all different types of stuff. And then over here, flowers, coconut flour, almond flour, quinoa, cereal, lentils, and a heap of different spices and herbs. And then the same thing over here, more storage. Cloudy keeps all the cooking oils there and then some vegetables and some fruits. Up here, some more storage. And then at the end of the shelf here, we've got the BD50, which is the Danfoss fridge compressor. And then in the back here, this is the fridge area. This is where all the uh, produce is kept. You can see there's two uh, access points. They both go into the same fridge and uh, just allow you to access the fridge easier from the left and the right hand side. And then the plate runs right across the back of the fridge here so it takes up the whole fridge. It's quite an efficient unit and uh, works really well. We've got a lot of these little netting bags around. Uh, they're really good because they're super lightweight. We can pull them off and clean them. <clears throat> They're really easy to make, so if we want to put any more anywhere else. But they're just great because living in such a small space, we've, you've got to be organised or else, you, you know, you never find anything. Stuff gets buried under stuff. So we keep all our wires here for charging everything, phones. And um, here we've got toothbrush, glasses, a torch. And then up the top here, we've got a spare nav light. I've uh, got a knife, filleting knife. Another torch, really powerful torch, and then two headlamps. And uh, that's just so that if you've, you know, if you're in bed and you've got to make a run for it outside, you can just grab a light on your way out, and um, and then see what's going on. These little bags are fantastic. This one holds the iPad, and then down here, this just holds our wallet and any chains that we've got. You can see we've got the drinking water. This is in a stainless steel canister. When we're making water, after we've filled our big water tank, we'll then turn the valve and then that feeds water up to our drinking tank. We don't like to drink out of the epoxy, so we have a stainless steel drinking tank. And we've got the BNG processor here for all the wind instruments and the speed and the depth. And, um, and then we've got, you can see a couple more instruments up here above where you enter. This is a BNG FFD, which gives you all the information. And then the compass, here for the uh, autopilot. A couple of handheld VHFs here, which are always charged and really easy to grab, ready to go. Uh, we've got an AOS unit that normally sits here, but it's away having an MMSI number cleared and a new one put in. Uh, breaker for the anchor winch, VHF, battery monitor, Iridium Go, this is for our satellite communications. And then we have LED lighting. The LED lighting's underneath this red sarong here. I think that's pretty much it. We'll go up forward now and we'll have a look at the forward logger. Okay, so we have the anchor winch here on the starboard side on the right. And then down here we have the forward locker. The bulkhead is here. Runs across in front of the centre board. quite deep, it's probably about um, six feet, or just under six feet. We hang all our lines here at the moment and a couple of sails, then we've got the anchor locker here. And then forward, we've got storage. I've got life jackets, fiberglass, paint, uh, a couple of spare autopilots, a heap of rope, spear gun, a couple of hammocks, and then a couple of boxes with some electrical spares and stuff, some rigging spares, some Dyneema, um, another sail, and then uh, behind that is some fins. 
And then this is the door. This is the door that goes onto the uh, companionway and locks the boat. We very rarely use it while we're cruising around Southeast Asia. And then in here you've got the anchor locker and the windlass. You can see forward. This is the chain plate for the inner force stay for the staysail. And then forward here is just a void. It's an empty void. And then this is like a small bulkhead. We've got a spare stern anchor that's a fortress, 27. Uh, F, I think it's an FX 27. Uh, bosun's chair, staysail, asymmetrical, a lot of spares. We've got a lot of rope on board. And uh, a furler, that's the furler for the staysail. Okay, so that concludes our uh, tour. Just on the way out, I'll show you this is where we keep the remote for the windlass. Really easy to access it there. <coughs> Quick tour of the foredeck. See so where the chain plate comes out for the staysail to attach. You can see the chain runs forward. We've got a little wear strip on here, PVC. Fiberglass onto the deck, which is a wear strip for the chain. It goes forward through the tube. and over the bow roller. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour.